Hey, what's up? It's your boy Joe, and today the flex cable came in for the DJI Phantom 4. I've been watching the YouTube video of how to repair this thing. The camera on here is not working, so I'm going to try to replace the flex gimbal in here today and see if that doesn't take care of the issue of the camera not turning on on the drone. All right, so first things first, got to take all these little hex screws out. Make sure you don't lose any of these screws. So I pulled all the screws off and this is how it looks like when you're taking it out. There's two cables that are connecting to this gimbal set here. So gotta be careful with that. What I did next was unscrew these two screws on the side here and that gives me access to the side of this gimbal like that. And we're just going to take the outside screws of this out, right here. Let's see, I'll take this gimbal cover off there. Gives you a better view. Once again, make sure not to lose these screws. They're very small and if the tip of your screwdriver doesn't have a magnet on it, it's easy to drop one and search for it. Okay, now this gimbal cover, this little guard cover should just pop off. Okay, maybe I have to do these screws here too. Okay, hold on. There we go. Came right off. Okay, now the flex ribbon. You can see the flex ribbon. This ribbon has got to come out. This thing wraps all the way around here. Goes down to here and here. I want to get the access to the back of this thing too, so. Change it back to the hex driver it's a little big see if that was the one that looks like it'll fit okay now I got to get this plate off of here so there's basically four screws back here
ਗੱਡੀ ਕਿੱਤੇ Here we go this drone open This is what the black back plate of it looks like when you pop it off. Okay, it's the camera cable. I want to get this cable right here disconnected. Flip that tab up and it should pull out. Okay, got that back cover off. Same with this side here. I want to flip this tab up here. get like a little tweezer or something to get in that area Okay, got that flipped up. And then I'll pull it out. Okay, so I'm removing some adhesive and this is the OEM cable here. Notice it's a double cable. The one I have, DJI's website didn't have it, but it's a single cable. There's no double cable. Well, actually, no, hold on here. This does look like it has double cable on it. So this is a good quality one then. Notice, see, notice down here is double sided. That's the one that you want here. I thought this was a single cable one, but glad it's a double cable one. Very, very good. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. I'm trying to get this cable out from under here, but it's plugged into that camera processor. So I got to pull this out and I'm going to move, removing the adhesive here on the side of where this is first. And then I'm trying to get my tweezer in there somehow to pull it out here. But it's in there good right now. There, I got it out. So now I just gotta remove this, pulling it out of here, and then unwrapping it around this, and then take note of how it's all wrapped into here so that you can put it back into there, how it came out. It's always take, easy taking stuff apart, but then it's complex putting it back together later, you know? This is my first time doing this, so 
bear with me. I just didn't want to send it into GGI and wait for ever for it to get back and you know, trying to do it myself here. He says Okay, so now that I got the flex cable out the way here, I'm going to pull the old cable off to the side here so that I can make way for this new cable. Here's the new cable. Now this cable's got to go inside over here. I'm going to put this all behind this arm so that this can all slide in okay. I want to be very careful when you're doing all this because this flex ribbon is very delicate and you don't want to rip it. Okay, see this square part? That means that's the top part here. and. Plugging this in like this. Hmm. This angle on here. It's kind of hard to work around. Okay, so I got this flex cable plugged into here. And now it's time to wrap this. I took the adhesive off. <clears throat> I'm going to go once around here. Around this arm. I push down here. There's an adhesive here, so it should stick. Rapidy wrap, 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 roo. Being very careful not to rip this ribbon. Okay, went around there once. Now I'm gonna take this adhesive off of here and then stick it up on top over here. Good double sided 3M tape. Okay, and then gonna go behind this with the rest of this stuff. And then I'm gonna put the camera mount cover back on it. <clears throat> so for that, I gotta take this Line it up here. This white line's got to get covered. It means that the cable's in there. surgical here. <clears throat> Small parts. Okay, next up is the yaw arm. Got to disconnect the cover on that. There's four screws back here to do that.
screw there. Inside, this is how it looks. Gotta lift that tab up here so you can unlock the cable. And then tearing off the old flex ribbon from here so I could place the new one in. All right, so now I gotta connect the new flex cable into this yaw arm controller. Make sure that white line's covered up before flipping that black lockdown okay that looks about right then put the cover back on Four screws. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Round and round, round and round. Okay, next up is to put the flex guard cap back on here. Just doing it very carefully so as not to damage the cable. And then screw in the bits and pieces. Kind of put the Phillips head screw back on here. Tightening up some of these screws on here. Okay. Okay. Then the ring. And those tiny screws there. These really tiny screws here to get in. So if I can't maneuver it just right, so 
had it lined up perfect. Small parts. Okay, there's three little screws there. Got that one in. Trying to give you the best first person view of this so you can see exactly where my hands are going. Not really asking for much here with this video, you know, just if you want to subscribe to my videos and have some more in the future. Oops various things fly my drone and taking it out on vlogs cool stuff like that Do, 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 do. One more screw there. Okay, and then that one cap cover, which goes like this. And there's two screws for that as well. are so tiny they just jump around everywhere okay got it okay Got those screws on. Next up is to get the control arm now. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the gimbal cover off of it. There's two ribbons that are connecting the gimbal cover. I gotta get access to the inside of this. So there's two Phillips screws that I'm gonna take off here. Get this metal plate cover off first. Okay, so once I get that metal plate off, this ribbon just snaps off, and then this plate right here, it's like a connector, just flips up and off like that. Now, the camera and the accessory part are disconnected. This is what I'm looking at at the bottom side of it. Okay, so next up is to remove this bracket with the Phillips screwdriver here. Lefty Lucy. Got one screw here. And 
and one screw down here. After that there's an L bar that's there and there's three screws which have got to be unscrewed. It's the dampers. Try using my tweezers here. it a little bit more come on out okay one more screw there okay got that third screw undone Got it out. There's a chip behind here. That's got the camera chip. Want to get that chip out. Very sensitive with these cables. Okay, there's four more screws in here. I'm trying to give you a bird's eye view here of what I'm doing. Four screws out of here. Hmm. This screw doesn't want to come loose. Strip that screw. Maybe I need a bigger screwdriver on this one. Okay, I'm getting this fourth screw out of that chip sensor area plate.
That gives me access to this whole backside here. All right. That section back here, this circular cover has to be removed. I need a long screwdriver. This will work. Right size. Try a smaller Phillips screwdriver. Thing is on there good. Hey, this one's coming up now. I'm glad that I still have this screwdriver here from my Apple repair uh, kit that I had. Cause it's got a pretty long screw length to get this out. The other tool wasn't fitting in that area good. Let's see, is that getting? Hmm. Okay, the cover is off then. Okay, great. All right, now I have access to every part of this here. This is the old flex cable. Peel this off. rip that cable old one see how easily that cable gets ripped off that's why it's good to have like a gimbal guard or something on it in case you have hit a branch or something you know a lot of glue on this one been steady working at this gimbal
Okay, so I got this new flex cable on here, and I'm gonna just feed this through and make sure that it's all being adhesive and stuck on right. Peel this old layer off. Flex cable. All right, so I got my whole DJI drone put together and I tried to fly it outside, but then they gave me this remote controller upgrade message. So you know, I re uploaded the remote controller. There's my drone, it's tweaking out. Like the gimbal, it looks like it's having some problems. It looks like it's struggling. I don't know why it's in that angle, but uh, I'm gonna YouTube some more information and try to find out what's really going on. But I found video feed, that's good news.